What's up, y'all? I got a feminine feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Queen Naja's response to negative comments about Clarence. So this clip of Queen Naja has been going viral on TikTok. A lot of people said that Queen looked disappointed holding her flowers. Waiting on Clarence to come get me because I'm about to go get my next car. And I'm gonna show you guys. He brought me all these roses that I so, so appreciate. I love roses. I got a lot of flowers now. I gotta find a base, but it's, it's our six year anniversary. We've been together for six years, you guys, so. There's that. Thank Six you. Years. Thank you for the roses, sweetheart. Uh, huh? Duke was starting to seed your mom ass. What? Staring at the shade, mom ass. Oh, there's oh, more. God. There's more what? I guess. Uh, more roses? More surprises. <sighs> Thank it. You're not really surprised, though, but I was going to book us a vacation in Mexico. Cowboy. Oh, you was gonna do it for real? Yeah. What day? But even though I want to go to the Olympics, I'm not yeah, y'all. <laughs> I like my roses. Clarence got them for me, and another car. <laughs> Six years. <laughs> that is how she. Clarence got me a, a lot of roses. I gotta find me a vase and another car, or whatever. But <laughs> yeah, I'm so appreciative. <laughs> That's why he looked annoyed. Yours is a long time. But thanks for the He was like, today. Yeah, I was gonna give you a trip to Cabo. <laughs> he was over it too. Can you imagine? Oh my God. <laughs> Say to mind my black business, but if, <laughs> if Clarence get her one more fucking gift and there's no fucking ring, I'm coming to beat his ass. What the fuck? What the fuck, bro? He been getting car after car after car. <laughs> Bitch, I can only drive one motherfucking car out of motherfucking <laughs> time. Oh my God. Yo. I feel so bad for her. What in the fuck? Cause it's not the money on. Leave. He gotta. You gotta go at this point. You have to. Cause now he's getting fucking disrespectful. We can see the pain in your face, mamas. Mm -hmm. You gotta go. I'm sorry. I really want to hug Queen right now because there's oh no way that this gosh. man is getting her roses. All for the women dragging it on TikTok. Six year anniversary and he bought her a car like she came by her own car. Why are you not giving her what she wants? She bought her own car, y'all. She been holding you down for six years. And this man don't want to propose to her. Like, he even look like, yep, I'm okay with the roses. And I'm okay with the car. I hope she is. She's not. You know she not. Like, why are you not marrying her? Like, you're full of shit. Queen Isaac decided to respond after people were coming for Clarence for buying her flowers in a car for their six year anniversary. Ashley, thank you for rocking with me for the longest. Um, I feel like I want to answer this question. So, what I'm going to say is, I feel like people are definitely reaching for sure. Um, like, it's very easy, I understand, to take like a clip, one clip, and to make a whole narrative out of it. But, like, you just never know. So, what people really don't know is that my energy had been low for uh, a couple of weeks now, maybe like less than that, but. Um, my energy had already been low. Um, I wasn't really super sure about getting um, the Porsche. I was uneasy on that day because I was kind of feeling like, dang, am I doing too much too soon? Because like I felt like I kind of should have just been grateful with what I had already. Um, so what? that Queen, you're rich. Not only that, you were swapping out another car. <laughs> was on my mind it had been some other things on my mind i had been like traveling a lot before that and i just really never got a chance to wind down before i just started doing stuff um it's a lot of things that i haven't been able to like accomplish um in the month of like july and my inner and also like i'm pmsing you know so um usually around the time that before i'm about to come on my cycle everything frustrates me um, right, listen, I, me too. When I'm on my cycle, I am all over the place. 
So I feel on that. I look sad a lot and my energy is really low. So when I had the flowers and I was saying, you know, just mentioning that it was our anniversary, it wasn't like some huge thing that uh, I was like really celebrating or anything like that. But I was grateful for the roses. And so that's why I showed them. But my energy. Yeah, ultimately, this is how I feel. My opinion does not matter, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, I don't know if he ever, well, his stupid ass getting drunk, talking about I'm going to make queen my wife. But outside of that, I think that she wants to get married more than he does. I don't think that he don't want to marry her. I just think it's a lot of aspects to getting married. Um, family is number one. Family is number one. Family is number one. They families don't get, unless things have changed, their families don't get along with each other, y'all. Unless things have changed, if things have changed, they will be getting along. If things have not changed, they families don't get along. Okay. Who going to be at the wedding? I can't get along with you. I got to ask you to marry your daughter. We ain't necessary. I think that is bothering him more than anything. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. I just feel like that's a part of the problem for sure. Um, outside of that, they would have to suck it up. Uh, why don't their families get along? Child, look at the history, but they would have to suck it up. When you look at other people and they weddings and you see, you know, because that's all this shit is about. Publicity, a big ass wedding. Y'all ain't even understanding the damn. The whole point of a marriage. This shit is a business. But anyway, um. When you see families together getting along, happy, and things like that, and then you think about your family, like me being a lesbian and proposing to Honey Sauce would be the easy part. But I think shit will get real, real if I get the proposing and it's time for this wedding situation. And that's just me thinking that. I could be wrong, but I'm just telling y'all, people have their reservations and it ain't got nothing to do with actually proposing to somebody bro this shit it's a lot was low so it just appeared to everybody that i was fed right. up and people started trying to put words in my mouth say that oh yeah she's definitely leaving soon and she really wanted a ring guys I am so past that phase. Like, I'm not saying that I don't ever want to get married in life. So don't take it as that either. But I'm past that phase of just um, being hyper focused on a ring. Like, seriously, I wasn't even thinking about no ring in that moment. I was thinking about really just the things I needed to get done, you know. Um, and I just I just really I think what I want more than a ring now is. To really get some stability within myself, you know, um, and to learn some more things about myself before I make that step or take that commitment. When I said it a lot before, as I was saying, um, when I used to like joke about marriage a lot, like publicly or just even mention it, um, it was a lot of things that I wasn't thinking about. You don't have to grow up and speak to the family at all. He don't have to do that. If he don't want to do that, some things are unforgivable. This ain't no disrespect to them at all. This ain't no disrespect to them at all. This ain't no disrespect to them at all. I'm speaking personally, just speaking about the situation. Some things are unforgivable. You don't have to talk to nobody. <laughs> and that's probably what the fuck he thinking about. <clears throat> you know? I was thinking about 
just having a ring and just being married, obviously, because, like, you know, uh, for one, in the sight of God, you know, it's blessed. And for two, sometimes a lot, a, a lot of what people say on the outside can have an effect on the inside, you know? Uh, marriage is work. Being a wife is work. And I got to be the best me before I could be anything, any other title. I got to be the best queen. And, yeah, I was looking at everything with rose-colored glasses. That's how I feel. But now I don't. I don't. I see, like, the real. And the truth is, is huh? That's how I feel. But now I don't. I don't. Any other title. I got to be the best queen. And. Yeah, I was looking at everything with rose colored glasses. That's how I feel. But now I don't. I don't. I see like the real. And. <clears throat> I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Something could potentially be going on within the unit of the relationship. I could be wrong. I'm only saying what it seems. Um, Y'all, like, what really sucks is when people look at people on the internet and their relationship and think like, oh my God, they are perfect. When in fact... Sometimes a nigga just got in a whole argument. I still go get you roses. I still go get you some gifts. <laughs> Mad as hell at you. I will still go get you some gifts. But bitch, I don't want to talk to you right now, let alone propose. We got to work. Y'all, a unit has to really like be unified before you just propose to somebody. And a lot of times people are just proposing because of shit like this. People rushing them, the peer pressure. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. You really have to, like, fully be a unit. You get what I'm saying? It's not just about looking good and having nice-looking kids and nice-looking things. Yeah, that's cute. But, nigga... I'm getting in uh, marriage with somebody I plan on being with for the rest of my life, for better or for worse, blah, blah, blah. Maybe in the talking stage, better wasn't so for worse. Maybe in the relationship, better ain't all that. It's, it's not there. I need to get to that point. We would need to get to that point. Maybe it's something like that. But like, to just keep rushing a person and y'all ain't even in a relationship is like, yo, you don't know what them long nights and early mornings look like. <laughs> you don't know what them insecurities look like and all that, you know, self hate, maybe not loving yourself. Some I mean, she's letting it be known. She's talking about her fucking self. Uh, the truth is it's hard. It, is. it really is. Um, and what people probably don't realize is that, like, uh, marriage is... And, girl, they probably stand together <clears throat> for y'all. Look at Riss and Quan. That Riss and Quan shit sh sh showed me a lot. I mean, and I could be wrong, but I'm just saying from what it looks like, she literally was like, nigga, we staying together for the check. I don't care what you talking about. You cannot break up with me uh, without me agreeing was the craziest shit I've ever heard of in my life. But he clearly is not feeling that woman. Beautiful children, y'all. Beautiful uh can somebody get my honey's house gifts up, please? Beautiful children. <clears throat> um, 
I mean, rich as hell, beautiful home, <clears throat> nice looking couple. He fine. She's beautiful. But they're not, or he's not, and I could be wrong, but it seems he ain't happy, man. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Chrissy. He not happy at all. So, like, she don't seem happy to me. I don't know if it's the relationship. I don't know if it's fully herself. We don't know if he happy at all. This nigga was like, shit, I will going to take you to Cabo, but I really wanted to go to the Olympics. <laughs> They're not. Sometimes you check out of the relationship. You ain't in relationship mode. Sometimes a nigga do just want to go to Paris and go to the Olympics. Sometimes a bitch just want to get a car, you know? <laughs> just... Not some fairy tale kind of thing. <sighs> Really, the the biggest part about marriage is getting married. <laughs> Hello. But everything after that is like a lot. So I'm telling you guys that I would like to take my time with that and be sure so that. Do you think Clarence feels stuck because he have a kid with her and the lifestyle she gave him? Do I think he feels stuck? I don't think he feels stuck at all because now he, I mean, he has Snapchat. He has his own channels. He can make his own bag. So, no. I think he's appreciative for what she gave him. I also think he enjoys home. Um, I think she's tired, though when it comes to the home aspect, but I think that he's appreciative of his family. Uh, and gave him is crazy. <laughs> I was going to say that, but I was just trying to answer the question because gave him is crazy as hell. Y'all got to understand, they gave each other this shit. At that point with Queen, she was getting views, but it was a lot of shit going on. She had just got out of a relationship. A lot of shit was going on. Clarence came in the mix. They started doing videos together, y'all, together. Literally together. So it, it wasn't, she didn't give him shit. If anything, they gave each other what they have. But anyway, um, I don't think he feels stuck, though. I just think that. I don't know. I don't think he feels stuck, no. It doesn't feel. I've already had one of those, you know? I've already done something when I wasn't ready. And I'll take accountability and say that a lot of times I, too soon, I speak on things just without thinking about everything else. But I don't know, like, I feel like I've grown up a little bit when it comes to um, just my mindset or whatever about certain things. So, however everything goes is however it will go. That's all I, but I do love my man and he loves me and only we know that. I don't really care what the outside says. We know what it is, and only God knows what it will be. So that's that. I'm just glad Clarence is what? waiting and doing it on his time. Y'all leave y'all comments me down too. below. Let me know what y'all thinking when it comes to that. I'm absolutely uh, happy that he is doing it on his time. Y'all, it is for the man to propose to the woman, not for the woman to rush the man or society to rush the man. <laughs> so... Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Do you think he will propose to her anytime soon after all this? No. He is not a guy that you could put under pressure and make him do anything. He'll actually not propose. Um, he'll actually not propose as fast because people are pressuring him. I think in a time where it ain't no pressure is when he'll do it. 
I don't think it's anytime soon. Queen told him 10 years. 10 years she'll leave. He got four more. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, y'all.